Accuation Center has been set up at Cheyenne Mountain High School. We've checked in with Scott Harrison a few times over the last few hours to kind of give us a sense of how many people are showing up there and what they are hearing from fire officials right now. Let's go back to Scott over at Cheyenne Mountain High School for an update. Well, Bart, technically this is called a reunification center. This is where the evacuees have been asked to come and kind of gather and wait this out. We'll step out of the way and kind of give you a wide view of the Shine Mountain High School parking lot here as the sun goes down and as the temperatures start to drop a little bit. We were told when we joined you about an hour or so ago that there were about 50 people from the evacuated areas who came here just to kind of hang out. And there may be a, a few, some fewer than that now. Some people may have gone to get dinner or to go somewhere else. But um, you can see the mood here definitely based on the good news that Lauren had in her report to you. The good news has really changed the mood here and made it more positive. Let's take you to video from earlier today as people were starting to show up today. Again, when that fire started to build, authorities told people in that area to get out and to come here to Shine Mountain High School. So people, they hadn't had practice in doing this probably since the Waldo Canyon fire. but. They got their important papers, they got their prized possessions, they got their pets, and they came here because they didn't know, and they still don't know yet, if and when they'll go back to their homes tonight. But again, we spoke with a couple who evacuated and said they feel a lot better now than they did earlier. Not really too worried. Um, the, the smoke's dissipating, and, and uh, I, I don't think it's really going to come um, that far. Um, and if the house does burn and down, well, get... you know, <laughs> it's, it's things. There are no people going to be hurt, so that's, we can always replace the things. So that elderly couple has the right attitude. It's about people getting out and being safe. Possessions can be replaced, lives cannot. Fortunately, we haven't lost any lives here, and we haven't lost any homes either, so that's good. This southwest side of Colorado Springs is an area that authorities have really been concerned about as being the next place for a major wildfire. All the conditions are right. It's the terrain, it's the kind of concentration of houses, and it's the vegetation that's grown in this area over the years. So um, it could have been a lot worse, but people are very thankful right now that it wasn't any worse. We'll be out here at Cheyenne Mountain High School where the evacuees are and keep you updated on the situation. We are live at Cheyenne Mountain High School in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.